Hey everyone, CPO here, and let me tell you a story. A story about how this product called the Rescue Bit rescued my ass. Uh, so I was removing the strut nut on my struts to put on camber plates, and the Allen bit broke inside the shock tube. You have to have uh, an Allen bit to hold the strut tube while you use a, uh, another tool to remove the nut. And whoever installed these springs must have used an impact gun on full volume and just cranked that sucker down. They were super tight. The second one came off without incident, but that first one, it broke. And what that meant is I have a piece of tool, an Allen bit stuck inside the strut tube, which means I can't get another Allen bit in there to properly get it torqued down whenever I put it all back together. So I needed to get that thing out and I tried everything. I tried using uh, little pick tools to, to pop it out. I tried using easy outs and uh, they didn't budget. I tried using a punch to even, even dent. I couldn't even dent the tide, like wouldn't even make a scratch. This is like hardened tool steel and it was broken off in there and nothing seemed to work. I even tried JB weld. I figured, well, maybe I'll weld the two pieces back together because I just need to pull on it. I just need to get it out of there. But the shoulder of the ball is stuck. So a buddy of mine recommended the rescue bit. I've never heard of this product before. And I'm like, I, I don't know if this is gonna solve my problem or not. I went to the website, I called the number, I talked to a guy named Mike who was the inventor of this product. He told me all about it and assured me that this was going to solve the problem. And so I got this double-ended bit. Uh, it's basically two chances, as Mike says, to, uh, to, to be successful at this. Uh, this is the eighth inch size. The design of this is fascinating and it's made of like the hardest steel that they can find because it's designed to cut through the hardest steel that you're gonna have to cut through. So again, tool steel, other bits that have been broken, broken bolts, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm like, okay, this is my last shot. I can't, I've tried everything else I can come up with. Nothing else has worked. Let's see if the rescue bit can do this. So you can see this little piece here. It looks like it should just come out, but it won't come out. So my only option now is to just drill the sucker out. So I used a DeWalt 20 volt cordless drill, which isn't quite as high speed as I, as I should have used. I eventually switched to a Dremel in this video and I'll talk about that and how that changed the game. But I started out with a drill. Uh, the point is, first of all, the fact that this even drills through this hardened steel is amazing to me, but it does it partly with heat. So the, one of the reasons why you want to use high speed drill or Dremel or, or whatever is so that it can heat the thing that you're trying to drill through. It generates heat beyond what that thing can handle. And then it starts to break down the metal and then allows it to cut through a lot easier. So even without going super high speed, you can see just with a regular cordless drill, I am able to cut into this hardened tool steel. So I worked at it for a while and I was really surprised at how well it worked. In fact, I want you to hear, I'll, I'll let this play out so you can hear a little bit about how it sounds uh, and you can see the thing work. And then I used a magnet to pick up all of the shavings periodically and just check on progress. And then once I got some depth in it, I could really start to sort of, you know, wallow it out a little bit. Uh, the edges of the bit are designed to cut in that fashion. And it really is fascinating to watch this thing work. I do believe I could have made this job faster if I started with a Dremel. So they recommend if you're gonna use a Dremel, Michael cut the bit in half for you. So you have just the smooth uh, shaft of the bit to put into the Dremel instead of putting the, a cutting end into the Dremel itself. But eventually, uh, as I was using this, I sort of wore down one end of the bit. And so that worn in is what I 
ultimately ended up shoving inside the Dremel and thinking, well, uh, now it's a little less sharp. I can put it inside the Dremel and we'll just see what happens. And you can see how the Dremel just generates so much more heat and power through the speed. And things sort of picked up pretty quickly after that. You can even see the, the metal shavings are much finer because of the, the speed that this thing is rotating. And I'm just hollowing out that tool, the, uh, the ball end of the Allen. Now I did wear it down and some people are gonna wanna say, well, if the tool doesn't last very long, then, then why is it so expensive? I, I will say this, if there's no other tool that will work, it's worth every cent that you just paid for it. And I have a drawer full of drill bits that are worn out for one reason or another because I use them. Uh, the reason it's wearing out and the reason I have two sides to use is because I'm cutting into a freaking tool. Anyway, I got it hollowed out and then was able to use a pick tool to pop it out of there. And I don't know what I would have done if I didn't have this bit, like nothing else worked. So now the end result is I'm back where I should be, where I can put a Allen head tool inside of that strut tube and then use it to properly hold that tube while I torque that nut down. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to share that with you. It wasn't a super fun uh, activity. It wasn't enjoyable because I was trying to solve a problem, but life happens and sometimes you need help. And the rescue bit, it rescued me. So I'm super stoked about that. I'll put a link uh, to where you can find this in the uh, video description. But if you go to the original rescuebit.com, there's a phone number there. If you call that, you'll probably end up talking to Mike himself, the inventor of this tool. And he will tell you exactly how you should be using this for your situation. And super nice guy. And the tool works. I, I was impressed. So I hope you find this video helpful. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.